Hey, you. Yeah, I'm talking to you. What you do? Have you liked? Have you subscribed? Do you want me to keep making YouTube videos? Or do you want me to go broke and have to get a regular job like everybody else? No? Well, you can hit the subscribe button if you want. It's time for another Ninjago Q&A, boy! Woo! Give me an excuse to talk about my random stuff. Yes! This is what I live for. Okie dokie. No one asked for this, but I'm going to give it to you anyway. Today's video is going to be a little shorter than last time's, but I still have a lot of great questions that I didn't get the chance to answer. And here they are. So, for anyone who just jumped on this video, because why not? Uh, let me give a quick rundown. Legends of Ninjago is a fan fiction that I am currently writing about the show Lego Ninjago. Um, I am changing it up and making it a bit more mature. And you don't have to be a fan of Ninjago if you want to read it. Think of it as like you're reading the first Harry Potter book. It's This is square one, okay? Feel free to have fun with us. Jump on this crazy bandwagon. Load up the hype train. Oot, oot. And with that being said, let's get into the questions. So, first question I've got is... <laughs> Are you going to include more Jam moments? Also, who will be Samurai X, Nia, or Pixel? Oh, of course I'm going to include Jam moments. Like, what kind of Ninjago fan would I be if I didn't? That would be, like, a crime. <laughs> oh, man, the Jam, that's the classic OG ship. My dude. I mean, I know I haven't featured it very heavily, but that's only because, you know... I want there to be a little bit more buildup. I, I also just want to address while we're on this subject. I, I know my writing on feelings and relationships is kind of clunky. Ah, just, mm. Okay, I'm, I'm level with you all. This is the first time I'm actually writing about this sort of thing. Generally, when I write, um, I tend not to go for romance because I don't have any personal experience with it. So I find it very daunting for me to try and tackle the subject. So I'm trying. <laughs> um, so bear with me. I may go back and rewrite a few parts like the, the first time we see inside Jay's head and he's thinking about Nia for the first time. That that moment is ultimate cringe and i'm probably going to rewrite it at some point but uh actually i do want to make a clarification real quick this is kind of breaking my usual mold but i don't care so i don't want y'all to think that jay and cole are in love with their respective crushes at the moment Think of it as they are literally just teenagers because they are just teenagers who have crushes on two girls. That's it. It's not like, oh, they're my one true love. It's like, no, she's pretty and kind of cool and I like her. It's a crush. So I don't want y'all to think too deeply into it. It also gives me some time to get better at writing it. So everybody wins. Uh, oh, and also Samurai X, that's a brilliant question. I'm gonna have to say spoilers though. Okay, next question. Am I gonna include all the background characters like Dareth, Vanya, and the Elemental Masters? First of all, how dare you call Dareth a background character? How dare you? Yes, of course I will include Dareth and Vanya and the Elemental Masters. Actually, as a matter of fact, Dareth has already gotten a mention in book two. It's very subtle, and I don't know if anybody will catch it, but it's in there. He's there in the universe already, and I can't wait for you guys to find out who he is in this iteration, so I can't wait for that. Next question. Why did I make Wu the head of the military? Answer, I didn't. He's not. The head of the military is the emperor and his generals. Okay. Master Wu, uh, he was formerly affiliated with the military. I left it kind of loosey-goosey as to what rank he held. I don't think it's a stretch to say that he used to be a general, but he is retired. I made this point very clear in a recent chapter kind of pulling my own Hermione moment, if you Harry Potter fans get what I'm talking about. And uh, yeah, no, he is an advisor 
to the emperor on tactical matters. That's it. Next question comes from a YouTuber. We get into the YouTube questions. Uh, Thomas asks, I have a huge question about Kai's mom. Isn't Kai's mom the master of water? What is Maya gonna do? My answer? Why, why did you sound British? And also, well, that would be spoilers, wouldn't it? Wouldn't it? <laughs> now, the, the, that's the question you're gonna have to keep holding on to. I'll be sprinkling little juicy nuggets of hints throughout the story, and uh, you, you guys are smart. You could probably figure it out along the way. Uh, just take a stab at it, but... No, you're not getting nothing out of me. I'm sealed up tight as a drum. You're gonna hate me for it, but I am not spilling nothing. <laughs> okay, and the last question that we have today, so far at least, is why did I change Cole's last name? And this answer is involved, so bear with me. <clears throat> okay, actually, while we're here, I might as well explain why I also renamed Kai and Nia too. So let's get into it, shall we? So the only confirmed last name that I was able to find concrete evidence for was Jay Walker. They say it in the show, that is his name, okay? We know, all, we, everybody who watches Ninjago knows that. What we don't know are what are Kai, Nia, Zane, and Cole's last names. Those have never been mentioned in the TV show. So, when I first started up this fan fiction, I went down a rabbit hole looking for something, anything, to give me confirmation of last names. And I already found several other YouTubers and internet people who just already obliterated that rabbit hole for me. So I didn't have to do as much work, thank you guys. And what I found was that nobody knows, not even Lego. Let's all just be confused together. This one said it's fat, this one said it's in a different color. I don't know what anyone's talking about, I get so flustered. There are tons of different websites, behind the scenes things, little Google searches. Everybody has their own opinion and none of them came directly from the show or directly from the mouth of any of the crew on the show. So there is no canon last name for Zane, Kai, Mia, or Cole. Nothing, I was able to find nothing. You, you have this, uh, behind the voices skit that lego did and for a moment you think did those are last names they have less no because lloyd's last name is green green it was obviously just a spoof and it is not part of the canon okay and google searches and wikipedia those can be altered by literally anyone so they are not a reliable source for information most of the time especially in matters like this where it's such a fringe thing that any fan could come along and say i want cole's last name to be brookstone because his first name wasn't enough on the nose so now that we've cleared that up Let's go into why I chose the last names that I did. Cole was the first person that I decided to tackle, and I looked up all of the last names that were currently in circulation for his character. There was Brookstone and Bucket. Those two were the most frequent. I, was Bucket a typo, maybe? Uh, but anyway, I didn't like Brookstone because it was a bit of a mouthful, and like I said earlier, it was a little bit too on the nose, because his first name is already kind of on the nose. It just felt like a little bit too much. And then I, Bucket? <laughs> so, um, the next thing that I had to think about was, do I want the name to sound American, or do I want the name to sound Asian? Because... Cole's dad has a very Asian name, uh, which I also kind of tweaked a little bit because for some reason, when I looked up the name, the only version of it I could find was French. Figure that one out. So after deciding that he has a Chinese first name, I thought, why don't I give him a classy sounding Western name? Because why not? In case y'all haven't noticed who have been reading the story, I've been trying to keep 
the ethnicities of Ninjago very mixed because I thought it would be kind of a good middle ground. Ninjago takes most of its inspiration from Japanese culture, but then there's also a ton of Western influence in like everything. <laughs> And I always kind of imagined Jay either being mixed or being Caucasian, and the same for Zayn, but that one more so because of Asian beauty standards, right? To be pale is to be considered beautiful, so he's since he's a robot, he would be pale because if you're making a robot, you can make it as beautiful as you want. And so Zane is literally just drop dead gorgeous. <laughs> oh man. Why did I not think of that sooner? Uh, them cheekbones and jawbones and all sculpted to perfection. I'm gonna stop now. Okay. Where, what was I talking about? Names, yes. Uh, so I thought, hey, why can't Cole's dad be a little bit mixed, right? Let's say that his mom is Chinese-ish and his dad was white-ish, right? And so then he gets a Chinese name from his mom and a Western name from his dad. And because Cole's dad is kind of more in the upper crust with the, 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 the hoity-toity musical talent and blah, 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 I thought it would be fitting if he had a slightly more classy name. Hence, Beckett. It's like Bucket, but it sounds classy. You dig? Plus, I just thought it had a nice ring to it. Cole Beckett. Now for Kai and Nia. This one, to me, was kind of a simple no-brainer because why are y'all so obsessed with them having the last name of Smith or Smithy? Okay, I mean, I get it. They're blacksmiths. I totally understand where the last name thing comes from. But yo, Smith is the whitest white name in the history of England, bro. I cannot even tell you how wrong it is to hear that last name in such an Asian setting, especially when Kai and Nia are like some of the most Asian characters in the entire cast. So like, don't! <laughs> I realize that the name that I came up with may not be entirely Asian itself, but I thought it was a step closer to something better than Smith. I think it works. Uh, I understand if people are like really attached to the whole Smith name, especially if like you've heard it a lot and it seems to be the main one that everybody repeats. But I'm sorry, in my opinion, the name Smith is way too generic, way too unimaginative and way too out of context for the situation. Like seriously, oh, they're blacksmiths, so let's just name them Smith. Like, can we at least have a smidgen of creativity here, people? Also, Zane Julian, I don't mind that one. I feel like it could be better, but like, I mean, what else am I gonna call him? Realistically, what else are you gonna call him? Right, well, thank you all so much for watching. I hope that this informed you at least a little. If you have any questions of your own, feel free to comment them down below. And I think this time around, I'll just answer them in the comment section instead of making a part two. Or I could do another part two. I mean, there's no rules on this, so I mean, whatever. Anyway, I hope you all are having a lovely day, and I hope you all are excited for book three coming out sometime in the future. <laughs>